I swear to you guys, I always dreamt about doing this. Good morning, good morning, good morning, my friends. This is a great day because today we are going to unbox this new gift I made to myself. I am talking about the new Alfano 6 lap timer and data logger. Anyways, I'd say it is the right time to jump straight into it and unbox this Alfano. I already opened the box, uh, to be honest, because I had to charge it and I used it already uh, last week in Castelletto to get an initial feedback. So let's open it. Ooh, nice. So the first things popping out of the box is the actual lap timer the new Alfano 6. Really nice and really good uh, innovative design. It's quite different from the other lap timers that I saw around or even from the previous model. This feels like a whole solid body. It is quite heavy. I don't know how much it weighs, but it's heavy. Actually, let's check it out. It's 422 grams, so almost half a kilo, which is not one of the lightest, of course, but because this has a built-in lithium ion battery which is a really powerful battery that lasts a long time the company says that it can last up to 40 hours of uh, of usage i haven't tested uh, this data yet but i can tell you that i charged it last week before going on track spent all morning setting this up and right now i still have after a whole day on track 82 percent of battery which is really, really good. Alfano 6 that comes with six physical buttons, four big ones in each corner and two smaller ones in the middle. We will see later what they are used for. Six LED strip in the middle and then two alarm LEDs at the top. Then inside the box, this one. Don't need it. And then I have two instruction manuals, one in Italian, one in English. I'll show you something. Some more cards. We will have a deeper look into that a bit later on. Two more cards stating the minimum hours of the batteries, the apps that you can use, your guarantee. But don't need that. Then oh -ho, you have the charger cable. Be careful because this cable is about 45 euros. So it's quite expensive. Take good care of it because otherwise you won't be able to use your funnel. Then plug for the power supply. In this case, we have a European plug. You can switch it and put the UK ones or US one if you're in the US. And then, oh, love gadgets. I love gadgets. So you have Plenty, plenty, plenty of stickers. Who doesn't love stickers? A big Alfano sticker, some smaller Alfano stickers. You can put it on your uh, books, on your in your bedroom, on your car, on your cat, on your dog, everywhere. Oh, nice gift from Alfano. This is a strip, sun visor strip. In my case, I bought the basic package of the Alfano, which comes only with the RPM wire. But if you need to have more sensors in your system, Alfano offers you the possibility of buying four pre-made packages. In fact, they have the pack one, which comes with the water temperature sensors on top of the RPM cable. The pack two, which is the same as pack one, but has also the uh, rear axle speed sensor. The pack three, which is the same as pack two, with the addition of the EGT, which is the exhaust gas temperature sensor and the pack four, which is basically the pack three without the rear axle speed sensor. Let's put this back in and let's focus on the main piece, the data logger itself. The Alfano 6 screen is a 268 per 128 pixel screen. It is very clear, it's so easily readable, also in the daylight. I really like it and it's customizable in uh, many colors. As mentioned previously, you have four buttons. The one on the bottom right here is for powering on the device. Awesome. Very, very nice design indeed, very simple. To each of the six physical button corresponds a menu or a submenu. On the bottom left, you have the settings where you can adjust a lot of stuff. For example, you can adjust the brightness, the color of your screen. You can have it purple, red, white, blue, 
green. You can adjust the power of the backlight, strong, low, medium, and also the power of the LEDs. I like to keep them normal so they're not too bright when it's not sun outside, which is not the case in Italy. We keep it auto actually black light so it will read the, the light from outside and auto adjust itself. Okay guys, so as previously said, uh, you have the chance to configure both your screen, but also the six LEDs at the top, as well as the two alarm LEDs in the top corners. Let's start straight away with the configuration of the screen. Alfano has set up already a default configuration for you, which is this one here, that has for me too much information. For example, lap time delta, lap time, gear, lap number, RPM, EGT, um, speed. So if you like it, that's fine. You have it already there. Otherwise, you have four other slots in which you can configure your own display. For example, if we go to screen four, which says customizable, we can enter here. We press the plus sign to add some information. Let's say we want uh, yeah, lap time, why not? You can position it wherever you want on the screen. You can also increase or decrease its size, change its background color, and then you can name it, for example, B, F, B, 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 and save it. So if you want on screen four, you have, you see, lap time, and that's it. I have already set up my own screen, this one here called Gabri, in which I usually keep uh, gear number, lap time delta uh, compared to best lap, lap time and water temperature. As I was saying before, you can also customize the six LEDs at the top. Uh, you can choose uh, what they will display, if RPM, exhaust gas, temperature, best lap, best partial lap. I usually keep it on RPM since I have a shifter cut. You can uh, customize the color of each LED. In this case, we have the first three green, and on the right, you can find here the value at which they will light up. So in this case, my first LED will blink green at 5,000, my fourth will blink yellow at 11,000, and the sixth will be red at 14,000. Then you can set up, as I was saying, your two alarm LEDs. Uh, you have one on the top left and one on the top right. Let's start with the left. Why are these called alarm LEDs? Well, because they will light up based on some rules that you decide. They can be taking values either from the water temperature or for the exhaust gas temperature. For example, I'll show you how I set up mine. You have a minimum rule and a maximum rule. Minimum rules means the LED will stay lit on until your reading will go above a certain threshold. So in my case, I selected my reading to be the water temperature, my threshold to be 30 degrees, and I want a blue corner in a continued mode. What does it mean? It means that until my water temperature will rise above 30 degrees, the blue light, this one here, will stay on, indicating me that the engine is still cold. On the contrary, you also have a maximum rule, which means that the LED will light up if your reading will go above the threshold. In this case, I set up a red blinking light for water temperature above 55 degrees, which is going to tell me that the engine is getting hot and I have to be careful, or perhaps I have a problem. Very useful if you cannot uh, keep an eye because of course you're focused uh, on the race, on your time, uh, and you cannot keep a constant eye on the water temperature. You can, of course, choose the driver name. This will allow if multiple users are using the device to divide the data. This is mine, so I just keep mine, but you can divide it into two. So you can quickly swap between drivers and always have the data uh, assigned to the correct driver. Then, of course, you can choose and change the languages. You have, you have some counters that can help you uh, keeping track of how long you, for example, use your engine. So in Delfano 6, you have a total of 2,544 pre-configured tracks. Uh, let's check it out. Let's go in Italy. And you have, for example, Seven Lakes, Karting, Sette Laghi, Adria, Adria Raceway. So you have a lot of tracks. 
Let's go and have a look at the track configuration function, which is done by clicking this middle button here. Because on the new Alfano 6, you have three ways of setting up the track at which you're at. You have an automatic mode, a professional mode, and the old standard magnetic mode system that takes reading from the magnetic strip reader on your cart. So, on the new Alfano 6, there are three uh, ways of uh, setting up the track. In this case, we are in the automatic mode. From the GPS reading, the Alfano can understand uh, where we are. In this case, automatically from the GPS signal, it says that we are at the Setelagi track, this is the track. You basically don't have anything to do. This is very useful, especially if you're a, a beginner, because you can get always the right setting for the right track. It automatically divides the track, as you can see, into sectors. You don't have anything to worry about. You just turn on the Alfano and go on track. Very, very useful feature. Otherwise, you can choose the professional method in which you can customize or create a new track. How is it done? Well, it does an automatic learning based either on the magnetic strips reading from the track, but we don't have a magnetic reader, or it ignores completely the magnetic fields and it does it on GPS. The last mode for the Alfano 6 is the Magnetic Classic, which is the same as the old Alfanos, where you can basically give a name to a new track, set up how many sectors are there based on magnetic strips, and, um, and set up delay times and stuff like that. Another interesting feature of the new Alfano 6 is the possibility of uh, uh, setting up uh, gear readings, transmission readings, in order to understand in which gear your go-kart is. Here, under the setting menu, you can go into the transmission menu. You see, at this moment, it says gearbox 6, which means we have a gearbox in our go-kart with six gears. How does this work? Basically, by an equation, taking into account GPS speed readings or um, your axle speed if you have the sensor on the go-kart and the engine RPM, the Alfano 6 understanding which gear you are. The procedure is very easy. If you have the speed sensor, you can do it uh, stationary on your stand with the wheel spinning. Otherwise, you will have to go on track. Uh, the Alfano will tell you everything you have to do. If you have to stay in first gear, if you have to do an upshift from first to second, then you will tell you to be in second gear, then do an upshift or a downshift. And by doing that, it will uh, learn uh, and memorize uh, what uh, your gear ratio is. Uh, so guys, we spoke a lot about uh, all these new GPS features that the Alfano has. Alfano 6 is the only system that connects at the same time to three groups of satellites. So the American Navstar, the Russian GLONASS and the new Galileo European system. What does it mean? It means that this is a very fast and accurate system. It will only take about 30 seconds, maybe even less, to connect uh, your Alfano to the GPS. And after that, it will automatically start uh, uh, reading your lap times and your uh, position on the track. It is really, really accurate. Think that it can connect uh, at the same time to almost 30 satellites. Of course, the more satellites it connects to, the more precise it is. The best results you have when you have at least a connection to 10 or 15 satellites and of course it will not be able to connect when you are indoor. The Alfano 6 system has uh, a big possibility of expansion. Of course uh, you will have to pay for it. In fact Alfano offers you two ways of expanding your system. One is the Box 4 Move or the Box 12. The Box 4 Move uh, gives you three extra uh, uh, position input. So this is the example where you can have a steering wheel position, the brake and the accelerator pedal position. Or the Box 12, which makes the cart a really like a spaceship, I think, because you can add four extra position inputs, such as valve position, steering position, brake position, two extra speed inputs, three extra input for the temperature, and also uh, download data USB input so that you can use the USB cable to download data directly from the Alfano without having to use the Bluetooth functionality. The thing that makes me mad is that you cannot use the standard USB cable to download your data. In fact, this is only for powering up and charging the device. You will need <laughs> to spend an extra 80 80, yes, you heard well, 80 euros in order to get this USB data cable. At the beginning, I was a bit skeptical about the Bluetooth functionality, 
But after I tried it, I had to say that uh, it's really, really good. It's quite fast uh, and it does the job for one person. Um, of course, with the USB data cable, uh, the data connection and data transfer is much faster, but uh, for an amateur use, I honestly, at that price, will not suggest to buy the data cable. Anyways, I don't need this anymore, and I have to be honest with you guys, I really, really would like to put my hands on, on a box for move cable, so I can add some uh, throttle and brake position sensor, so we can check out together uh, my data and, uh, and see how important it is to have uh, track data also in karting and how that can help you improve your lap times. Let's see if I will ever be able to put my hand on one of those and let's move on. So guys, now I will show you the uh, mobile app that Alfano has made for this new system. It's called Alfano 6 on Play Store and on iOS. This is the layout of the main menu. You have analysis where you can do all the data analysis uh, from your sessions, pictures where you can, uh, for example, uh, load a picture from your computer and it will show uh, at the startup of the Alfano. You can also make some funny jokes to your friends, but let's have a look at data analysis. This is the menu. In order to download data, you will simply have to press the USB button and click download on the app. The app and the Alfano are already paired on my device, so just select my device. You see, they are now connected. Let's download uh, this one here and see how long it takes. Lap one, done. Lap two, lap three. So as you can see, the Bluetooth it's quite okay. It is not super fast in downloading the data, but it's quite uh, intuitive uh, and reliable. I think, as I said, if you're only one person, it's fine. If you have to make data analysis for a big team and you are the only engineer there, then get the data cable because it will take less time than this. Once you download the data, you can select one session or maybe two sessions. And then by clicking the red button here, you can make the proper data analysis. So these are two different labs. Of course, you have the track layout here. You have, um, uh, you have many readings that you can customize. For example, we don't want RPM, we want gears. We click gear there. And then at the top, we have gear. You have GPS speed. It depends on the sensor and what you are looking for. For. Then we can quickly change laps on both, which is quite good. You can change the axis between time and distance. Uh, what else? Yeah, you can see the track on the map, which is quite cool. And you can see the different line used. So you can do a lot, a lot of things with this app. It is very well made. It is free. But for more in-depth analysis of your lap, there is the PC app, which is not free, which is called Off Camber Data that I'm going to show you. So this is the layout of the uh, data analysis tool called Off Camber Data. You can open session. This is a default session, a preloaded session. And this is how it looks. As you can see in the middle part, you have uh, all the stripes with all the data that you want. You can change, you can remove data by going into the channels some menu, let's remove brake and steering and let's add uh, throttle position and uh, temperature one. It adds the data here. You have a map with a GPS signal overlap on it so you can see your racing line. The cool thing is that you can also attach a video to your data file so you can better understand what's happening on the track. Of course, you can make comparison uh, you can compare two laps, you can compare two videos also, and this is a really, really cool and useful tool to analyze your data. You can import the data session directly from your PC via Bluetooth or from USB. Well, I think it is uh, really cool. Uh, it is really useful, especially if you have to work, you need a PC. And uh, the only thing is it's expensive, it's 80 euros. I would have done it for free, included into the 
Alfano package. But this is a third party app, I believe. Uh, I hope one day Alfano will develop its own and give it for free to all its Alfano customers. Because I think if you have a data logger, you also need a data analysis tool, a professional data analysis tool, and not only on a mobile device. So guys, what can I say about this new little beast? I am very satisfied with it. I have to be honest, I tried it for one day at the track. The screen uh, is readable. It is quite heavy, it is true. It makes the steering wheel a little bit heavier, but it is justified by, by the time that the battery lasts because it's incredible. Look, I've used it for one day at the track, made a one review in Italian, one review in English, and it's still 78%. It's incredible. Uh, the GPS system is fantastic. It only takes like 30 seconds to connect. You don't even have the time to warm up your engine that it's already on and you can get all the information that you need. Would I suggest this to you? Yes, I certainly do. The price is good. I think the basic pack starts about 500 euros. One thing I don't like is the fact that you have to buy a USB cable to download the data. I think they should have just gave us the opportunity to download the data with the USB charging cable, which is quite expensive also, 40 euros for a cable. It's at least give us data and charging capabilities of one cable. The same goes for the off camber data analysis app. Really, really good job from Alfano in doing an amazing app for the phone and mobile devices. It is quick, it's easy to use, and it's great. The same applies for off camber data, but why is it not free? Why does it not come in the Alfano package? I want a data logger and a lab timer that I'm able to do some data analysis both on my computer and on my laptop for free. I'm already paying for the device. They should give you the opportunity to use it at its full potential. Anyways, as I said, I would like to have a box for move, so as soon as I save up some money, I will get one and do a review. So guys, uh, this was my first review. I hope you like it. I'm not really good at it, probably, but uh, I can get better. I will try to get better. If you have any questions about the Alfano, uh, ask them in the comment sections below. Please go follow me on Instagram and on Facebook and do not forget to subscribe to my channel, this channel. Also, if you want more content, in Italian but with English subtitles, which I've done previously on my other channel, go subscribe on the other channel as well. You will find plenty of cartoon videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Ciao!